It looks innocent enough, but Nacella tussock has become a menace to the country's economy. This tall, spreading South American plant chokes out the useful native tussock. By 1946, the threat to hill country became so serious that the government established special boards in Marlborough and North Canterbury. Their machinery and manpower has been mobilized to destroy Nacella. Schoolboys supervised by Nacella Tussock Board Rangers come from Christchurch to help grub fresh outbreaks. Carelessly introduced into New Zealand over 50 years ago, Nacella, once it gets established, smothers any other pasture. Since sheep won't eat out Nacella, every plant must be destroyed before it gets a chance to seed and spread still further. On intensely farmed grasslands, Nacella is easier to locate and control. But in rougher hill country, it's much more difficult to find and kill. On land too steep to cultivate and in areas too scattered for spraying, over a hundred men scar North Canterbury's hills and gullies, wiping out every plant. Special roads to transport men and materials have been bulldozed into the heart of the Tussocks breeding grounds. Shade is Nacella's enemy. The Tussock needs sun to survive. Trees have successfully smothered tussock on some of the worst infested country, but most of this land is considered too valuable to lose as pasture. So great has become the menace that farms totaling over 30 square miles of North Canterbury have had to be bought by the government. It'll be a long, expensive fight before Nacella is completely wiped out. On one block of 12,000 acres, it will cost half a million pounds to kill Nacella and make the land ready for resettlement. Where ground is ploughable, cultivation prepares the soil for re-sowing in grass. Seed is still left in the soil, so next year the new grass must be sprayed to kill Nacella seedlings. Tussock board teams methodically kill spray along gullies too steep for tractors to work. Huge blocks of hill country must be sprayed and later oversown and top-dressed from the air. At a staggering cost to the government and farmers, the cellar is being slowly overwhelmed in North Canterbury and Marlborough. Distance from these danger spots doesn't mean the farmer is safe. 27 new outbreaks have been found as far apart as North Auckland and Central Otago. Every farmer should be able to recognize Nacella and destroy it on site. Any one of these seeds could start a new attack, carried by cars, clothing and animals, but mostly by summer winds. A heavy blow snaps the long stems and carries millions of seed heads for miles. Each year, a mature tussock can let loose a hundred thousand dangerous seeds. If left alone, a single nacella could become a hundred thousand new plants in a season, a neglect neither the farmer nor the nation can afford.